Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. What are some of the distinguishing features of the Messiah who is to return, according to the world's prophecies? The modern British-American spiritual writer, Alice Bailey, notes that he would embrace people of all faiths. This, in fact, has always been a characteristic of Christ throughout his many lifetimes, including the one that we believe we are witnessing today. etc. He has been for 2,000 years the supreme head of the Church Invisible, the spiritual hierarchy composed of disciples of all faiths. He recognizes and loves those who are not Christian but who retain their allegiance to their founders, the Buddha, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and others. He cares not what the faith is if the objective is love of God and of humanity. There is no need to change your religion. Just meditate. I'll show you how to meditate, that's all. Just keep whatever you believe. Keep your Christianity, keep your Buddhism, keep whatever, the path, the teaching of the Master that is favorite to you. i just show you how to get in touch with the essence of the teaching that you believe. Etc. As an atheist, what are the benefits of Kuan Yin to me? Make you become a, a better atheist. <laughs> I told you, I promise I don't make you change any religion. <laughs> Just meditate, then you understand everything. Yeah? However, Alice Bailey made it clear that Christ would lead a whole new kind of church, whose members will be found all over the globe and do not necessarily have to be His disciples. They belong to Christ's community, mainly because they, like Christ, love their fellow men. Now everybody you go out is a saint, I assure you. Yes. They're quiet, hoover everywhere. 
and same person everywhere, just they don't know it, because their destiny is like that. Yeah, the destiny is not to find a master, but to do something good outside somewhere, and then the master can use excuse to help them. Yeah, or they will bump into some of you, and they benefit anyway. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. It's your destiny to sit here to have a master. But it doesn't mean you're better than anybody else out there. I met some four level God running around, you know, taking care of my car. <laughs> Yeah, I met some uh, third-level gods, or, you know, the third-level divas who go around fixing the bricks in my yard. Humbly, they don't even know it. Yeah, but if you met them, you know, they're so saintly. They're, they're very friendly. They are virtuous. They're not harming anybody ever. You understand me? And they're benevolent. They're kind, they're humble, they're conscientious in their work and honest. All the quality of the saints in a bricklayer or in a car dealer, yeah, or in a janitor who clean my garden or clean my yard. You meet saints everywhere. Qinghai is actually <laughs> not just my name, okay? It's a name given and it symbolizes the pure ocean of love that is in your heart, in everyone's heart, in all beings' heart. You can see that through all the charitable deeds all over the world, by individuals, by groups, organizations, with or without recognition. You can see how animals, they treat humans with utmost love, devotion, and help, assistance, as much as they can whenever they have a chance to do it. And they also treat each other kindly, lovingly, charitably. I thank them from my heart. Divine viewers will return after a brief message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Charitable viewers, welcome back to our program. In her book, The Reappearance of the Christ, Alice Bailey wrote about a new group of world servers whose main task is to bring forth the so-called new age. The Son of God is on his way, and he cometh not alone. His advance guard is already here, and the plan which they must follow is already made and clear. This is in reality the organizing of the outer physical army of the Lord, an army which has no weapons but those of love, of right speech and right, peaceful human relations. We think this group could refer to all who do good and strive for noble ideals, whether they are Christ's direct disciples, members of other spiritual groups, or virtuous citizens of the world. 
all serve as instruments of peace and love. He works today as he worked in Palestine 2,000 years ago through groups. Now he works through his masters and their groups and thereby greatly intensifies his efforts. Thank you for gracing us with your beautiful presence. We have waited a long time for this. Are you working with the Himalayan masters? I'm working with all of the masters, not only Himalayans. Last four years, we decided that you and Jesus and uh, God, uh, another master came in, uh, in the picture to guide me. Who was that? Uh, it's someone. So you have three now? Oh, no, no, three. Oh, three masters. Spoil yeah. with choice, huh? Yeah. And the question is, uh, is that good or bad? Um, Enjoy their presence, yes, okay? Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, Just for your variety, otherwise you're bored with one face. That That's works. why we have to have three. <laughs> it's only one, okay? Yeah. Yes. All right. I always go to you, or my mind goes to you to uh, ask for guidance and everything. Uh, but on the way here, Master uh, Savan Singh was the one that guided me. You and Jesus, they were busy, very, very busy. That's uh, why he's there. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Well, everything went okay. There's uh, numerous, numerous uh, experiences. Ah, uh, you, you were about Savan Singh? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I, when I saw yesterday for the first time, I felt, you know, this, this energy coming here. It's the same kind of energy I felt when I look at the photos of of, of Baba Swan Singh and oh, Baba Swan Singh. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, anyway, it's difficult to prove these things. But some of the disciples, Indian disciples, they saw it. Yoitsu 你的災難已滿了,你可以去找一位在是否,只有他能救你,他住在苗栗西湖,你只要口中念,青海無上師,五次就可以找得到。Because all the masters work together, past, present, and future. And many past masters work together in the past, and many present masters work in the present time. They are helping in some way. It's just like uh, we are not the only vegan group. We have so many vegan groups outside, outside our so-called circle, and they are doing all they can to spread the veganism, to help the planet, and to save sentient beings and to save humans, it's like that. So we all have to be grateful to all of the saints, okay? Big and small, large effort or less uh, effort, they all do their best. They all work together to help humankind when they are crying for help. The saints and the master, the angels, the goddess, the divinity, they're all here. Alice Bailey divided the new group of world servers into two main groups. The first group is composed of the disciples of the Christ, who are consciously working with his plans, and also those who kindly cooperate with them. The new group of world servers are also standing attentive to direction in every country in the world, united in their idealism, in their humanitarian objectives, in their sensitivity to spiritual impression, in their united subjective purpose, in their love of their fellow men, and in their dedication to selfless service.
Etc. Meanwhile, the other part of the new group of world servers is composed of world conscious men and women who are working unconsciously under divine guidance to change our world system for the better. Alice Bailey noted that there are many such, particularly in high places, fulfilling this role. Master once mentioned that she has inner spiritual connections with many influential figures. I knew many president, you know, a world leader. In this lifetime, they are world leaders. But in former times, we were friends, uh, you know, knowing each other, some intimate, some very close relationships and friendship, etc., etc. Some of them incarnate in this lifetime on purpose, so we can kind of work together for world peace, you know? Oh. So, to help, you know, to help world peace. But of course they don't remember anything, because they don't meditate and they don't get initiation due to, you know, world uh, etiquette, <laughs> world prestige, uh, you know, name, power, etc. Otherwise it would be easier to work, much easier. Yeah. So it is like that. And uh, I knew also many of the, like, uh, famous people in the former life, you know, movie stars and all that. They also doing their part in helping this world. If they have been initiated, then of course it's easier. But if not, they also do some part. Yeah, and then they earn their marriage for the next life. Master, at the end of the last conference, uh, Master asked us to remind you about the Korean leaders, that if you had any affinity with them, because we asked and you didn't think about it, nor checked on this at that time. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, they're my friends. Especially the North Korean leader is a good friend. Oh, wow. wow. Life. 200 years ago, we were still together mm, wow. as friends. Mm. But of course, they won't remember anything. Well, you can see the way he behaves, yeah? Yes. 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 He must have some spiritual inclination in him, you know? Some spiritual uh, seeds in him, yeah? Yes. The way he behaves is a very gentle and happy and kind person, huh? Yes, and easy, easy going, easy going and uh, really for peace so fast. Thus, from the highest spiritual being upon our planet, Christ, through the graded spiritual groups of enlightened and perfected men who work upon the inner side of life on into the outer world of daily living where thinking, loving men and women serve, the tide of the new life sweeps. I want to thank all of your effort and uh, thank all of the people from other group, the spiritual people and the animals lovers and the new vegetarian comers, the government effort, the media effort, every individual, every group, we thank them. I thank them 
from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that we and their effort will always continue, continue to save the planet and to awaken people's nobility and higher consciousness. Examples of institutions advocating veg for the planet. plus more. I see peace efforts. I see generous helping hands from all nations and individuals and groups and organizations. I see love growing in different ways. These signs might be still insignificant now, but they are like uh, the sparks of fire that will soon turn into mighty flames that will cinder past ignorance and hatred and make a new beginning of a nobler and saintlier race on earth. Please think positive and keep doing what you can to awaken our neighbors and keep dreaming of a heavenly world in our lifetime and continue to the next generations to come. We are together. We are fearless. We are strong. We are determined to change the world. We are courageous. We are with all humanity who wish for a peaceful, safe, loving world. And we all deserve it. Etc. Thank you, Selfless viewers, for joining us today. Don't miss our next episode as Alice Bailey further describes Christ's spiritual work to unite our world.